I'm going to go to my top five all-time pitchers. I'm going to go to Bob Gibson. I'm going to go to Koufax. I'm going to go to Clemens. I'm going to go to Greg Maddox. I'll what throw Clint? Randy Johnson in his prime in that top five. And then I'm going to have to start thinking about position players, and I'm going to have to go Barry Bonds, who's my all-time best player, over Babe Ruth. Uh, I can flow with that. Okay, Babe Ruth, right. Mickey yeah. Mantle, yeah. Willie the Mays, most, The Ted most Williams. glorified runner-up in Major League in sports annals, Babe Ruth. That, that dude? Go ahead. That dude. But, I, again, I'm, I'm going to have to think about those ten players before I even remotely think about a closer. As great as he was. Hold it. Uh-oh. Go ahead. We're, we're, we're debating here. <laughs> There's a different argument. If you're talking about everyday dudes, I get that. If you're talking about you are devoid of starting pitches, see, it's not that they're better or worse. It's that if I'm thinking about a guy pitching once every five days and I'm thinking about a closer who shows up in the ninth and he might pitch five days a week. Thank you then it depends on what value. So what I'm saying to you is a closer may be required to be utilized more frequently than a starting pitcher. That's all there is to me. But I'm talking about because it's a closer, because I'm assuming you're going to be in a position to close, all right? Then I'm looking at you from the standpoint, who's my most reliable weapon? There is no mm -hmm. way on God's green earth that Mariano Rivera – deserves to be in the 60s when you consider his importance to winning baseball games. Stephen A., That's I know ridiculous. who wrote that That's article. Asinine. I'll and we tell got... you. I'll tell you. It was a panel it? of 30-plus experts, including Buster Olney, Jason Stark, uh, Keith Law. It was a group of people that came together. What's the, hold on, hold on. I, I know all three of them, and I will be I will be speaking to them shortly. Was well, Tim you got to go find number 27. <laughs> Who else said Was Tim Kirkjian on that list? Yes, he was. Yes, he was, darling. What? <laughs> yes. What? So they He's disagree with you. He's responsible for this? Yes, yep. they disagree oh, with you. Oh, Lord, I can't believe this. Yeah, I sorry. can't believe this. this. Something's got to happen. Listen, there, we all know that we got a bunch of Yankee haters up in here. Oh, no. You that understand? That is? Oh, okay. the, the, the people, that, it's okay. clear jealousy. Mm -hmm. It's clear jealousy. Okay, I have some questions to finish this off. <laughs> Just in perspective, how much did Mariano Rivera benefit from the biggest payroll in baseball year after year after year? How much did that contribute to his it's over right reputation? Stop right there. Uh -oh. stop, right, stop, stop right there. No. I'm not finished, Very minimal, <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. It's very minimal. I understand that you have you know, a high-powered offense that's going to produce runs. Any closer wants somebody to manufacture runs. But Mariano Rivera, on too many occasions, that more than I can count, has found himself in situations in a tie game or a one-run lead, and he had to come and shut the door. He didn't want, he wasn't the type of dude that a Joe Torre or a Joe Girardi came in and utilized because, you know what, we got a five-run lead. No, 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 no. That's usually the time you put in other dudes because you had some kind of cushion <laughs> to see what they would do. You saved the best for when he was needed. We have someone on the Sam phone Man for you, Stephen blasted. A. Do we? Stephen A., we Who? have someone yeah. on the phone for you. I want you to meet Tim. Who? Do you know Tim? Have you met Tim before? Tim who? Tim, are Tim you Kirchin? there? Yes. Tim, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Oh, Tim Kirchin knows who I am. <laughs> this is Tim Kirchin on our yes. show? We just the, the great Tim Kirk is official. We have the, Tim Kirkjian. We are legit. Listen, listen. Uh, uh, oh. Hey, Skip, Skip, move out the way. You have no business uh -oh. in this conversation yeah. right oh, now, you boy. Yankee hater. Tim Kirkjian. Tim Kirkjian. Yes. Mariano yes. Rivera is 67 <laughs> on a list. How do you explain this, Tim Kirkjian? Explain this. You know I love you. How could you do this to me? Explain that. I didn't do this to you. You think I picked him 67? <laughs> I was part oh. of a group that, that picked the greatest players of all time. That's not my list. That's an aggregate okay. list of all sorts of people. But let me try to explain why he's down that low. Stephen A., Skip, you guys know this. Everyday players take precedent over pitchers oh. almost at all times. And starting pitchers take precedent over relief pitchers almost at all times. Mm. In the history of baseball, relievers are not considered 
to be the best pitchers because they're pitching 60 innings a year instead of 230 innings a year. And they're certainly not put on the same level of everyday players who are playing every day. That's why most relievers are down on most lists like this. All right, Tim. But with that being said, because you're, I, you, you, you're my man, you know I love you, okay? We talk all the time about our basketball, all right? We, hey, 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 Tim, you're a dear, dear friend. But here's the deal. Here's, here's the deal, Tim. Where did you have Mariano Rivera? Uh, Stephen A., I don't even know exactly where I put him, and I'm not dodging the question. I don't know where you I know put everything. him. You know everything. I don't know everything. This is what this is what I do know. He is obviously the greatest closer of all time. Okay, but we've really only been ranking closers since the save rule became official in 1969. The rest of baseball goes back to the 1800s or the modern game back to 1900 on. So there's a lot more ground to cover with people other than closers, if you get what I'm saying. This is the point, though. Mariano Rivera is the greatest, not just the greatest closer of all time, but he's better at his position by a wider margin than probably any other position in baseball history, meaning you get to second base. There's a great debate who's the greatest second baseman of all time. There's a debate who's the greatest left fielder of all time. But there is no debate who's the best closer of all time, and that's what separates Mariano Rivera. He did his job better than any other player did their job compared to the others at their position. Stephen A., am I allowed to ask Go, a question? You sure are. You are I know I'm supposed to zip it. You are finally allowed. <laughs> really? But do so respectfully. I can ask You're my loud, friend, so Tim Kirchin, <laughs> and I actually do go way back with Tim Kirchin. Have you guys had dinner? Uh, well, we've, we've done a lot. We've played basketball. We've done a lot of things together. Tim, I have He's one a question. He's different. Respect your knowledge immensely. This is almost the Jerry Rice versus Randy Moss kind of argument that we've had on the show here recently. Is it fair to say that you could make a case for any of the best years of Dennis Eckersley, maybe 90, 91, 92 ish, being as good as any single year of Mariano Rivera? Yes, Skip. The 89, 90 seasons by Dennis Eckersley are virtually unprecedented in baseball history. Those two years combined, he had more saves than base runners allowed. Think about that for a second. More saves than base runners allowed for a two-year period. And when I presented that fact to him, he looked at me and said, if anyone ever does that again, I'll kiss your you-know-what. Yeah. That's how okay. impressive that was. And Craig Kimbrell of the Braves just had a season last year that Mariano Rivera has never had. Wow. Okay, So we understand that Eric Gagne... Craig Kimbrell, Dennis Eckersley, they've done some things that Rivera has never done, and yet he did it for so much longer than everyone else. And most important, of course, he did it at the biggest possible times. Yep. He is arguably the greatest postseason pitcher of any kind in the history of baseball. So when the pressure's up and you need three outs in the ninth inning, not only has Rivera done that better for a long stretch of time than anyone, he did it in the postseason when it counts the most.